Hello everyone. I wanted to talk to you about intolerance, more specifically intolerance of Christianity as demonstrated by atheists. Oh great, another one of these. Alright, bring it on Jesus Freak. The past 10 to 15 years, atheism has really grown. And with growth comes the feeling of strength by numbers. It seems like there's more and more vitriol coming from atheists than ever before. Ah, uh, yes. Completely unlike the vitriol displayed by Christians towards atheists. Ask yourself, why is there so much push for atheism? Yeah, why is there so much push to get us out of the Stone Age? There are now churches. Atheist church is sprouting up. Yeah, I'll agree with you there that the atheist church movement is a little ridiculous. But as far as I know, the only church movements for the atheist community right now are being led by comedians. It's more than likely that most of the people that are actually going to these atheist churches are people that spent their entire lives going to regular churches. People who need guidance, people who need assembly, people that need to feel like they're part of something. I have a video about that and the dangers of that as well, and I will agree that it's a bad idea, probably for a different reason than you, but atheist churches are dumb. The uh, only other atheist church that I could find is called the First, the First Atheist Church. It's based in Pennsylvania, and they are encouraging people to open their own branches and become ordained for free. In their frequently asked questions, their very first question, of course, is what do we believe? The first atheist church of atheism is formed around the belief, keyword belief, that the ministries of life can be explained through science and reason. We aim to provide a place for atheists to become ordained for free, as well as a hub for atheists to find ministries to perform their ceremonies. This is our doctrine. Quote, Nothing exists besides natural phenomena. Thought is merely a function of those natural phenomena. Death is complete and irreversible. We have faith solely in humankind, nature, and the facts of science. You see, as far as atheists are concerned, this form of atheism is on the fringe. It's what we would call fundamentalist atheism. You see, what a fundamentalist atheist is, is somebody who believes without a doubt and will declare from the bottom of their heart that God does not exist. These atheist groups who claim there is no God do not represent the majority of atheism. As far as I'm concerned, a regular atheist is somebody who just fails to believe your story. Billboards. You're really complaining about billboards? Every single Christmas, there's billboards that say, keep Christ in Christmas. I would say that there are considerably more billboards promoted by Christian and other religious groups than there are atheist groups. Ask yourself, when's the last time you saw a Christian portrayed in Hollywood where Christians were portrayed positively? Almost every time without fail, the Christians are portrayed as nutcases, overprotective, out of touch, irrational, you know, or just violent people, bad people, crazy people. Yeah, because that shit is hilarious. You know, we see this clearly. There are now atheists out there, you know, Seth MacFarlane and such, that, and, and others, not just him, that portray Christians as the nutcases. And this trend is growing. You know, atheists are picking up on this, and they're really running with this. Yeah, and that's great, because we now live in a time that we don't become socially castrated for speaking our mind about religion. The vitriol's gotten horrible. The hatred is just ridiculous. You really think so? Because you probably haven't seen anything yet. Wait until over 50% of your American population becomes admitted atheist. In fact, as far as I see it, most people push that the United States is a Christian nation. And if you were that confident in your religion, you wouldn't get so butthurt over a few comedians making fun of it. Now, I'm not saying all atheists are hateful towards Christians. There are many that have a live and let live attitude. Hey, you live your life, I'll live my life, and we can be decent with one another. I really respect that mentality, and I try to reciprocate that level of respect. Yeah, and that hey, that's great. Except that you have a YouTube channel that you preach to atheists trying to convert them. I have noticed through the years, though, 
that the animosity that atheists have towards Christianity is so much more profound than the animosity towards Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Wicca, all combined. You name it. You take all the major religions out there and the hatred towards those combined, you know, pale in comparison to the amount of hatred towards Christianity. Okay, for, first of all, Wicca is not a major religion, so I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, there's a pretty simple answer to why that is. What is the majority religion practiced by Americans? Oh, it's Christianity in various thousands of different forms. What is the majority religion of people who have deconverted and become atheists? Oh, Christianity. What is likely the religion of their neighbors, their peers, their family? What is the major religion of their teachers, their politicians, the people who rule make, the people who enforce rules? Oh, it's Christianity. It looks like the reason we hate Christianity is because it's all around us. It affects us in a negative way on a daily basis. Oh, and trust me, we hate Islam too. They're not worried about Islam. They're not, I mean, they're maybe worried about, you know, they may have some concerns, you know, being attacked if they were to speak against it and such, because we do know that you don't dare say anything about Islam nowadays. If you do you say something bad about the Prophet Muhammad, you know, you're going to suffer the wrath of YouTube or Google or whatever. And yeah, I'm willing to say bad things about Islam. Fuck Islam. It is probably the most oppressive religion to ever grace this planet's surface. We don't talk about Islam as much because it doesn't affect us as often. But still, atheists tend to focus on Christianity. And I believe it's because they know Christianity is true and it's the real threat. <laughs> Cute. wanted to show you a real life example of persecution of Christianity. Ah, oh, fuck. Not Ray Comfort. He was a very successful author. Here I have his book, Hell's Best Kept Secret, one of my favorite Christian books I've read. Oh, you're a real fanboy, eh? Then when I got online and really started learning more about um, Ray Comfort, I saw, wow, he has a pretty deep ministry. He runs... Living Waters. This is a website, livingwaters.com. Oh, and of course, one of the very first things to pop up is download from iTunes for 99 cents. Yeah, sounds like Ray. He's very popular because he used to do, open, well, he still does, open air preaching. He goes out, people ask him questions, and he talks, he answers, and he always has a decent answer. You and I probably have a different definition of decent and if he doesn't he will say you know what i, I don't have the answer for that really because i've literally never heard him say that but he's very gifted in giving answers that are sound and make sense no he's really gifted at tickling people's ears and convincing them of bullshit he also partnered with this guy i'm sure you're familiar with kirk cameron crocoduck boy they're still friends and still in i believe still in conjunction with one another oh yeah He's on Ray's payroll. But Ray Comfort, of course, on his Facebook page for, you know, for a while has been offering paintings. Mm, that looks like a sketch. Basically, he takes pictures of celebrities. He traces them and then he paints them and fills them in. Yeah, that's a sketch. To give them a more, more realistic, lifelike look. And here is one of his uh, eBay pages where he sold it. For 106 bucks. Ugh, some idiot paid $106 for that. And if we look at this, we can see that he says, all proceeds will go to the furtherance of the gospel. It's a 12 by 16 canvas. You know, it's a cool hobby, and he's giving money to charity. No, that's not what he said. He said this money goes to the furtherance of the gospel. That is extremely ambiguous. Ray Comfort has been accused of, you know... Oh, you're rich, you you know, you're taking money and lining your own pockets. Oh, okay, so you have heard that. He's doing this to help people because he's not the monster people try to make him out to be. I demand proof. Well, Ray Comfort recently, and I kind of knew this was going to be coming. I'm not going to read this verbatim. You can read it if you pause it. 
but basically says he was forced off of eBay because atheists were falsely bidding tremendous amounts of money, more than $7,000. Atheists as in the atheist community or trolls who were acting as atheists? You see, it's a little unfair to just assume that this was an atheist and not just some troll. And then they would default on it, not pay him, and they would leave negative feedback. Finally, eBay forced him off because, you know, as you can read. So he basically said that he had to start his own little website so he could sell these things. First thing I noticed, atheists were like, it's not us. We're not doing it. How do you know it's us? Well, it wasn't me. And it wasn't Aaron Ra, and it wasn't Matt Dillahunty, it wasn't PZ Myers, it wasn't Richard Dawkins, it wasn't Carl Sagan, it wasn't Christopher Hitchens. Who was it? It's not us. It could be the Christians, it could be the Hindus, it could be the Muslims, it could be anybody. But how dare you accuse atheists? Well, sure enough, Ray finds the page with the guy, and here it is. Important message for atheists. If you remember the money from my painting sale was going to children's cancer research. When an atheist bid 7600 for a painting of JK and deliberately bold, pulled out. We contacted the second bidder who had bid seven grand and told him that the bidding was unfair, that it was an atheist who hiked the prices. He said he loved JFK, so I sent him the painting free of charge for the shipping and the painting. However, he turned out to be another atheist or the same atheist using a different name. Need I remind you that... It was Ray Comfort's decision to give that painting away for free, right? The guy did not force Ray to give him this painting for free. Ray decided to do it. So it was Ray's decision not to give that money to sick kids. It was Ray's decision to give a zero dollar value on the painting. Because this is what the guy did with his JFK painting. That's fucking hilarious. You see, that's a pretty good painting of JFK. Looks great. Well, this guy paints, you know, a, no, uh, a mustache on it. Who cares if he painted a mustache on it? It was his painting at that point. And, and the fact that the guy got the, the painting for free doesn't negate the fact that it's his property now. He can do whatever he wants with it. He can put a, a, a cat's ass on JFK's forehead for all he wants and write Allah Akbar on top. It, it, there's nothing we can do about it. It's his property and I'm going to go ahead and click this link for you. That way you know I am going to the original page. This is the page, Atheist Against Ray. If anything, you're advocating that Ray Comfort displays poor judgment. Almost 2,000 likes. That's pretty sad. If you scroll through, you know, he's getting 43 people like this, 74 people like this. It's get some, just getting some traffic, 87 people. It's basically a page just to denigrate Ray Comfort. You know, stupid stuff like this. This is what people do. They have decided that they're just going to hate on Ray Comfort. And they're going to harm his ministry. Yeah, it's not that we're lining up to hate you. We're lining up to make fun of you. Because that shit is fucking funny. What we hate is when you people tell us what we think and feel and tell us what we should think and feel or else. And not only that, they're going to harm the little children. That money could have gone to children. It could have gone to help them. If Ray Comfort cared about these kids, he wouldn't have given that painting away for free. And he would have recognized that people were trolling him. You know, oh yeah, I don't mind taking money away from children. It could have benefited those children. But boy, I sure did spite Mr. Comfort, I sure didn't make him look stupid, didn't I? Ha ha ha, I drew a little mustache on his painting. Yes, the real villain is the mustache. I've been watching your videos for a long time, since before I became an atheist. And I gotta say, you've been doing this anti-atheist stuff a long time. All right, live and let live.